Hello and welcome. Welcome to this series of information security management system. Through this video, we shall work at understanding the clause number one, two, and three of the ISO 27001 standard. Let's read the standard first. One, scope. This international standard specifies the requirements for establishing, implementing, maintaining, and continually improving an information security management system within the context of the organization. This international standard also includes requirements for assessment and treatment of information security risks tailored to the needs of the organization. The requirements set out in this international standard are generic and are intended to be applicable to all organizations regardless of type, size or nature, excluding any requirements specified in clause 4 to clause 10 is not acceptable when an organization claims conformity to this international standard. The ISO 27001-2015 as an information security management system standard essentially covers the constituents of the implementation of the ISO 27001 within the context of the organization. Additionally, this international standard also manifests the assessment and the treatment of the information security risk as mandated by the annexure A5 to A18 in the standard, which have to be tailored as per the need of the organization. The standard further goes out to mention that the requirements that have been laid down in this standard very generic and are applicable to all kinds of organizations regardless of any type, size or nature. So as such, from an ISO 27001 standards perspective, there is no limitation on what kind of organization can implement ISO 27001. ISO 27001 intends to be generic and is applicable to all organizations regardless of the organization type, organization size or the nature. And any exclusion from clause number four to clause number 10 is not acceptable if you are looking at showcasing conformity to the international standard. That is, if you are in the pursuit of implementing and getting certified for ISO 27001 as an organization. So all the mandates as mentioned in clause number four through to clause number 10 must be implemented within the organization. That is what clause number one is telling us. Clause two, normative references. The following documents in whole or in part are normatively referenced in this document and are indispensable for its application. For dated references, only the edition cited applies. For undated references, the latest edition for the reference document, including any amendments, applies. ISO IEC 27000, Information Technology Security Techniques, ISMS Overview and Vocabulary. Through this uh, clause two, they are essentially mentioning to you that throughout this uh, ISO 27001 documentation, if you are referred to look at any reference document, the reference could be two types. One, you could have dated references, somewhere mentioning standard with an year, so 27,000, 2014. So such documents in, in which you have the year in which it was last published mentioned, that is referred to as dated reference. Or you could have, like it mentions here, ISO IEC 27000. This is undated reference. Should the standard anywhere choose to give you undated references, you will have to look for what is the latest document available for that standard. And whatever changes are available in that standard, you will need to look at them and make use of them. While the standard only mentions ISO 27000, but please go back to my previous video on the various standards of ISO 27000 family. They will be extremely helpful 
in your pursuit to implement ISO 27001. However, ISO 27000 is a mandatory document that you must look at. It will give you great understanding of what are the different aspects of information security. It will help you understand the various terms and vocabulary as used in ISO 27001, etc. So using ISO 27001 is extremely important in your pursuit to implementing ISO 27001. Clause number three is pretty much one liner. Terms and definitions. For the purpose of this document, the term and definition given in ISO IEC 27000 applies. So should you find any term defined in ISO 27000, that is what is applicable as the definition of any term as used in information security management system. That is what this clause means. I hope this very simple video on clause number one, two, and three is useful to you and that uh, it helps us lay the basic foundation of uh, our pursuit to understand ISO 27001 a little better. I hope this video was useful. Thank you.